What's up guys and it's been a while since I made a video on OnePlus and well, this is kind of embarrassing. OnePlus is not the same company that we all loved, it's actually changing and it's changing pretty quickly thanks to Oppo. In case you don't know, there's a new company named Oplus which is basically a parent company of OnePlus and Oppo. OnePlus used to be more of an independent company but now they have merged with Oppo, this actually happened last year. They didn't make it public and uh, you may have noticed that their flagship smartphone they looked and shared a lot of features common with Oppo's flagship smartphones. But now they have made this big merge with Oppo official. After this announcement, the big thing that people were concerned about was regarding the software skin. OnePlus phones have dished their own Hydrogen OS in China in favor of Oppo's Color OS and this is something that people feared that it will happen to international market as well where OnePlus could dish their Oxygen OS as seen with the Android 12 beta in the recovery mode, it literally says Color OS. The CEO of OnePlus responded to this by saying international market will still be getting Oxygen OS, but now we actually have a new internal memo that was leaked by Evleaks on Twitter and it's a bit concerning. They're telling their employees not to answer any questions regarding operating system or Color OS. This is definitely embarrassing. The last thing that differentiates a OnePlus phone compared to an Oppo device is Oxygen OS. And if they actually dish that in international markets, then they're gonna lose a lot of customers. Now OnePlus definitely needs Oppo when it comes to innovation because Oppo is the big giant. They showed off foldable smartphones, under display camera. They even showed off a rollable phone. I mean, they are truly more of a father figure for OnePlus. Because of this merger, OnePlus gets access to a bigger supply chain and a broader development. So yeah, OnePlus has now become O+, they are changed forever. The last thing I really hope that they hold on to is their Oxygen OS, but if they actually switch to ColorOS globally, would you be happy with that decision? Let me know in the comments below. Also in the news, Samsung has joined the Chinese alliance in order to make Android a better experience. According to the news, Samsung is now a member of Mutual Transmission Alliance aka MTA which is a group founded by a number of Chinese smartphone brands including Oppo, Vivo, Xiaomi, Asus, Black Shark. Basically, this will allow seamless file sharing between Samsung and other Chinese smartphones. Samsung already has QuickShare which works really fast between different Samsung devices and even laptops. But now thanks to MTA protocols, you will be able to share files seamlessly with other Chinese smartphones as well. And last but not the least, Samsung has started the big mass production for their upcoming foldable smartphones, the Galaxy Z Flip 3 and the Z Fold 3. According to FrontPageTech.com, Samsung is ordering about 50,000 to 70,000 units of each device in a single day which is absolutely crazy. As for the release date, it is expected that the unpacked event for the upcoming Galaxy Fold lineup will happen on August the 3rd. So that's all the latest news. It's been a while we talked about OnePlus, but I gotta say, OnePlus and Oppo's relationship is a perfect topic for Father's Day. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later in the next video.